This is day six of working with my California Extreme Mustang Makeover Horse. It is 525 right now and I have to be back to get links in the trailer to get him to a vet to get a health certificate so that we can go to California. Uh, she already has one from when I picked her up so I'm running late so I'm just gonna film the intro right here. I just took a handful of like random stuff and that's what we're gonna have to work with in this short time frame. So I'm just going to start with, again, those same warm-up exercises, which I'm going to start making shorter and shorter as I go along making these videos. That way you guys don't have to see the same exercises over and over again. But I'm going to brush her off and start with yielding her hips. Again, looking for those hind legs to cross over and those front to stay still. I want to keep getting her softer with this. She's definitely stickier moving her hind end to the right, so I need extra work on that. I think I'll start to make these warm-up clips a little bit shorter because I like to still warm them up before I get into anything new or serious, but I have explained it a couple times in the prior videos of her training, so if you want to know more on what I do to warm up and how I start getting body control and all of their parts moving, like their hips and their shoulders, then you can watch some of the previous videos where I go a little bit more in-depth on that. She moved her shoulders a lot nicer now, and she's already way softer with her pole. I just look for improvement every single day, I just want her to be a little bit better than she was the day before. So now we'll move on to some flexing. It doesn't need to be perfect, but like I said, I definitely want improvement from the prior session. And now we're going to do some desensitizing with the tapping. This day I had to do a pretty fast session because I had to go to quite a few places. I had to be at the vet for, I think it was 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, and it was like an hour away, so I had to get going fast. I still wanted to do something with her today. And the surcingle, usually I put the surcingle on before I put tack on them, so I wasn't too worried about her being freaked out by the girth pressure or really it being up there because she's worn my English saddle already. Look, her trot is a lot more forward going now. I don't have to push her quite as much. She's starting to understand how to go on the line. Yielding those hindquarters to finish it. Then I'll get her going the other way. I feel like usually I put a surcingle on before the saddle, but I felt like I was comfortable enough with her that she wasn't going to react all that big to the English saddle, so I felt comfortable putting that on her. So I'm going to come up to the camera and explain what I'm doing right now. Hopefully you can hear me. 
And I know some people that do this like to move their horses around a lot and kind of get them moving with a flag or something. I kind of like to just let them figure it out on their own and let them give at their own rate. So this is something that I like to do. I just have a surcingle on her and I have her flexed around to one side. I like to do this to teach them how to give to that pressure on their side. So what I did to prepare her was I've been flexing her and today I held it for a little bit longer. That way she would be prepared for me to pull it a little tighter. And you saw the first time I put it on, it was too loose so I had to adjust it but I never want to tighten them up so much right away. She already loosened it a little bit now, so I'm gonna go in and tighten it again. But it really teaches them to give with their hindquarters and yield around and also pull that flexing position. So this is good when I wanna start getting her soft, like in a bridle too, eventually I can fit her up by, I'll do that by putting it between her front legs and around her barrel and tie it off at the withers. And that'll help a lot because you can see she has that resistance in her neck where she'll pull up and kind of brace against it. So that'll help a lot with getting her softer and getting her, again, comfortable with that pull pressure and any pressure on her nose. So I'm going to go in and tighten this again. Now what this is good for with some horses, it doesn't really help her too much because she's pretty comfortable with me, is getting your horse to be okay with you approaching them from the side when they can't see you. So it's pretty good for that, teaching them that it's okay. You just go up and pet them and then walk away. And also getting a horse used to being walked behind. I know with a lot of my other Mustangs, it was super helpful when they were kind of nervous with me walking behind them or anyone moving behind them. So she did a pretty good job with that. I just had her do the other side and walk around with that for like five minutes and she gave and got soft and relaxed. So I took it off and I wish I did have time to ground drive her. I really need to get going on that. All you can see is her big nose. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to lay across her again, so ground driving will have to wait. I'm gonna take the surcingle off of her and see how she does with the jumping around again and jumping up on her side, and that'll be the end of it. I think I only have like 10 minutes left before I have to get back to get links. I'm just gonna play music above her again and get her desensitized to that because I know that worried her a little bit. And I jumped up and laid across her quite a few times, so I'm not going to include all of that. Pretty much the same reaction every time. Right here, looks kind of weird, looks pretty weird. Just rubbing my knee across her hind end, getting her used to if I were to get off and drag my foot across her hind end. Again, looks pretty weird. Just trying to desensitize my horse. And so the biggest thing is I just want my horse to stand for me to get on them first. That's the first step of teaching a horse to ride is just standing when I get on them. Good. Well, I think that was my first time like fully on her. Well, with like my leg on the other side. This is day six and I know some of you may have been watching uh, makeover videos and some people are on their Mustangs on day one. You could tell this is a pretty chill mare. I probably could have been on her on day one, but I really don't like to go super fast. Even day six is pretty fast in my opinion, but I feel like I've done a lot of preparation with her so I feel comfortable getting on her like this. And yes, for those of you wondering, I was not completely intending to get all the way on her. So normally I do wear a helmet. Also, sorry at my atrocious white legs. I don't always wear shorts. Yeah, it's not fully good. She's like, no, that's weird. She's but yeah, I do oh, end up weird. wearing a helmet when I'm on her. So don't, don't worry about that. I did not intend on doing it. But yeah, she's pretty chill with the crawling up on her, using her like a jungle gym. She took one step there, so I just got flat to her. Again, I think I just made her lose her balance, but she handled that really well. I didn't want to push it, so day six is the first time sitting on her. That's pretty much going to be it. That was really good. 
I wish I had time to ground drive her, but I feel like we got, for like a mini short session like that, she did, she did really awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and I think this is the end of day six.